Happy New Year! Another year means more games and our wallets aren't ready. Here are 25 more PS5 titles coming out this year that's not present on our previous upcoming video. Visit our website, whattoplay.com, to see the complete list. You can also take part in our rankings by leaving reviews of the games that you played. Link in the description box below. Control. Supernatural forces, powerful Jedi powers, and it's from the same creators behind Alan Wake. Control is a great game that'll only get better with our upcoming PS5 upgrade, especially now with ray tracing and all the DLCs packed into one. Hopefully, you can body your enemies in 4K when it releases on February 2, 2021. Werewolf the Apocalypse, Earthblood. At least this year, we get to play as an eco-terrorist with the powers of lycanthropy. That's not something we see every day. Earthblood is like Twilight on steroids. Instead of the good old teenage romance, it's all about warring factions between vampires and werewolves in a struggle for power. It comes out on February 4. Neo Collection. One of the biggest samurai games in recent history is coming out in an all-in-one package for the PlayStation 5 this February 5th. Anyone who missed out on the adventures of the Weeb Swordsman and their custom-built warrior can finally play Neo 1 and 2, including all the DLCs. It's no Sekiro, but hey, it's still a fun samurai game. Yakuza Like a Dragon Everyone loves Yakuza. Anyone who doesn't clearly never played it. This PlayStation 5 upgrade comes with some visual and performance improvements, but the content will remain the same. There's still the fun, batshit crazy goodness Yakuza has to offer, but this time, it's going pure JRPG with its turn-based format. It's set to release on March 2. Terminator Resistance Enhanced This March 26, Terminator's army of time-traveling robots will take over the PlayStation 5 with this enhanced edition that'll bring out the murdering cyborgs to near perfection. Sure, it's not the Terminator game we've been looking for, but at least this means the franchise is still open to making new games. It Takes Two Also releasing on March 26, who needs couples therapy when you can have a co-op game for you and your partner? Sort out your differences together and solve a myriad of puzzles that always requires both heads. It's creative, fun, and it requires more than just teamwork. If this doesn't rekindle those dying flames, I don't know what will. Pray for the Gods This huge action adventure has been starting to make a name for itself since it began being beta tested by Steam players in 2019. If you enjoyed the breadth of exploration of Shadow of the Colossus, Pray for the Gods feels like it'll be right up your alley. It still needs some work, but it's coming out to the PS5 early this year. Disco Elysium There is literally no reason for you to not play one of Steam's most well-written RPGs. Fans of visual novels and long texts will find something special in Disco Elysium. It's coming out to the PlayStation 5 this first quarter, and it comes with a fully voice-acted story this time around. Nothing beats sitting around and hearing characters regret the decisions we make for them. Guilty Gear Strive The first for the second quarter of 2021, Arc System Works will be on the shelves on April 9 with another masterfully crafted fighting game coupled with her gorgeous art style. Strive is pretty much the same Guilty Gear, but with some new characters and a bunch of new tech that pro players are gonna spend half of their lives learning. Hood, Outlaws and Legends one of the few games that train you to become professional thieves in the comforts of your golden gaming chairs. A combination of PvE and PvP, Hood teams you up with friends to engage in dangerous medieval heists or outplay other teams. It has loot, replay value, and full-time dev support at an official release date of May 10. LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga We'll get to experience the way Star Wars is meant to be experienced in LEGO. You'll be free to relive your favorite moments with the galaxy's most messed up family, in charming LEGO style. All nine episodes with no dialogue and no drama, just crazy blocky shenanigans that almost always don't make sense at all. It's set to release sometime mid-2021. Back for Blood Valve's Left 4 Dead may never get its elusive part 3, but the former devs behind the iconic zombie survival multiplayer are making their own game about blowing undead heads. As always, being with friends will improve the experience. Without Valve lifting a finger, we'll get the Left 4 Dead 3 we needed on June 22, 2021. Gregory, your friends are worried about you. They're 
you're here with me. Please, come out. Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach The animatronics are still working their asses off 24-7 to scare the crap out of us. Kids and Markiplier fans will definitely find something new in Security Breach now that the graphics will be better and the jump scares more twisted. Who knows what lore is hidden under this new chapter? No release date has been announced yet, but it's expected to release sometime this year. Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1 the world's greatest detective gets another version of his story and it won't be Robert Downey Jr. nor Benedict Cumberbatch. In Chapter 1, we witnessed the early days of the cocky detective before he met his John Watson. We don't know for certain when, but we could expect the open world puzzler sometime in 2021. Marvel's Avengers Square Enix's ambitious superhero slash looter RPG is currently on life support due to dwindling player numbers and a severe lack of content. Just recently, they added Hawkeye, but that didn't feel like it bumped up the numbers. Let's hope the PlayStation 5 version this year will be the game's saving grace. Cyberpunk 2077 Definitely one of last year's most polarizing games, 2077's disastrous launch on consoles left an indelible mark on CDPR's reputation. A PS5 upgrade is in the works, and hopefully the game-breaking bugs and glitches will finally get fixed when it rolls out this year. Welcome to the next generation of open-world adventure. Immerse yourself in Cyberpunk 2077. Why did I move here? I guess it was the weather. Grand Theft Auto V Rockstar just can't shut up about their award-winning open-world game, and for some reason, everyone still keeps playing it. Oh, we was trying to get out of this bullshit. This PS5 upgrade will not give us GTA 6, but it's a slight improvement from the old-gen versions. 2021 will be the year we'll finally see Lamar roasting Franklin in 4K. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Also coming out sometime in 2021, Geralt of Rivia's Adventures continues to the next gen. It's just a straightforward upgrade that transports us back into its gorgeous yet dangerous medieval world, including all its DLCs. Imagine those trees rustling or winds howling in next-generation graphics. Metro Exodus It's always a good time to explore the radioactive Russian wilderness in this open-world FPS from Deep Silver. Our favorite adventurer Artyom returns and he's prepared as ever with his trusty backpack and AK-47s. The Band of Explorers own a massive train now, but the mutated monsters and supernatural mumbo-jumbos are still around. The Lord of the Rings Gollum We're all thirsty for more LOTR content, and looks like 2021 will be the year we get to enjoy more of Tolkien's works, with this weird stealth game featuring Gollum and the Amazon show coming out soon. Let's, uh, hope they stick to the actual lore this time around. Ghost Runner. One of the more decent cyberpunk games that came out last year is heading to the PS5. It's not every day we get to play a badass cyborg ninja while running our way through a futuristic neon-clad city with a katana, plus the soundtrack is great too. It's coming sometime this year. Atomic Heart. Will we ever see this game on the shelves? The severe lack of news and fresh gameplay footage killed the hype, but looks like they're adamant on finally releasing the title this year. This Bioshock-like first-person shooter feels if Rapture was influenced by the Soviet Union, and it looks cool. The Invincible An ambitious first-person title set within the speculative fiction realm. Imagine the Cold War never ended. That's what The Invincible is all about, but with more emphasis on science fiction. It's still in development, but the concept art the developers release look captivating and terrifying. The Dark Pictures House of Ashes Supermassive Games' latest chapter of their horror anthology is back this year, and it comes with even more psychological horror than ever before. Like their previous entries, House of Ashes will have another strong lead with the mo-capped Ashley Tisdale, who probably won't break out into a song and dance number. Gothic Remake One of the most anticipated sequels of a role-playing game that may be coming out this year if everything goes according to plan. Enter the medieval world once more with decent graphics this time around. A demo is currently available to play on Steam, and so far the reviews are quite polarizing. 